been a while since I've made a video because I've been moving house and there have been all sorts of dramas with that and I've just been so exhausted with work because I didn't have time off work and I've been super crazy and I probably look really terrible because my allergies are playing up really really bad <laughs> at the moment so yeah anyway so today's video is actually going to be a um a I guess a haul video of sorts so I um Recently did a swap with April and in that swap she had given me some melts from um, a eBay seller called Sugar Creek Wax. Um, I think it's Sugar Creek. It's either Sugar Creek Wax or Sugar Creek Melt. Something like that. It's Sugar Creek Air. I'll put the description down below anyway. But I absolutely loved those and so I thought that I would order some more so I did I received this big box here um, with a whole heap of melts and I actually ordered a sampler I think that's what she called it um, on eBay so it was you got 20 melts and you got to pick 20 different scents for $25 and free shipping which I thought was an awesome deal so I did that so that's what's in this box today so let's just jump right into this so this is what it looks like there's like a whole heap of stuff in there so i'm just going to put it next to me and then just kind of go from there so i also did receive two samples which i was not expecting but it was definitely appreciated so the first sample I have is Juicy Peach and Mango, this little one here. I'm not normally a really, like I'm not a fan of um, peach scents, however, this peach scent actually smells really nice. So straight off the bat you get a really nice fresh Juicy Peach scent and it's really nice, like it's I don't know, all I can say is it just screams summer to me. And then you get a hint of that mango coming through underneath it. So I'm really excited to try this one. Um, I definitely can't wait to try this on warm to see what that's like. So that was the first one. The second one, oh, and I forgot to say I could not find the scent description for this one, but I have the scent description for the other one. So the next one I got is the Passion Fruit Cocktail Sample looks like this and this again is probably not something I would have picked for myself but smells amazing so straight off the bat you get passion fruit you get pink grapefruit you get a hint of peach some mango and I can't smell any of the other scents in the description, but it could just be that um, they're not super, super um, dominant. So it might be just like an undertone, but the description for that is, and I've got them written down in my little planner here. Um, so it's passion fruit, pawpaw, pink grapefruit, mandarin, peach, mango, green apple, jasmine, and black currant. So that screams amazing to me. It smells so super like fruity and like just pure summer to me. So I'm actually going to burn that one pretty soon because I want to know what it is like to burn because I want to be able to place another order. So there's that one. So let's just jump into what I actually ordered now. And I'm going to try and do this quickly as possible because there are 20 different scents. So I know this can be a really long video. So the first one I have here is apples and oak, which is this one here. And this was one that I was intrigued by. Um, but wasn't sure what it was going to smell like. So this one, straight off the bat, smell like you can smell the apple in it. But then it has like a really sort of earthy scent to it, um, which is the oak moss in it. So this does have oak moss. And 
This is not my absolute favorite. I don't dislike it, um, but it's not my favorite either. So this is kind of in my, I'm gonna burn it and re like refrain giving this judgment until I see how it burns. But um, what the description says is that it reminds um, Sugar Creek Scents, that's it, Sugar Creek Scents, um, of an apple orchard, which I think after reading that is a pretty accurate description. But the scent notes in this one are actually, let's see, Macintosh and Granny Smith apples, oak leaves and oak moss. I think the oak moss is probably the most dominant scent in this one. So that's that one. Moving on to the next one I have here is Fresh Fallen Leaves and this one was another one that I was really intrigued by and was hoping that I would like. Unfortunately, this is another one that I'm not 100% certain about. I'll refer in judgement though until I burn it because it could smell completely different because sometimes scents do smell different when they're burning too, when they're on cold. So this is supposed to smell exactly like Fresh Fallen Leaves in the outdoors and that's the description for this. But what I get is something completely different. So to me, it's kind of a perfumey scent. Um, I see that this one, well, I think this one could be a little problematic for me, um, being the fact that I have severe allergies and this could be a little bit strong. I think if I was to burn the whole thing, um, so maybe I might have to cut this one down into maybe quarters and go from there and see how that goes. One thing I do want to say though is the um, the tart melts from Shook Creek Scents are amazing though. They are such fantastic quality and they have amazing scents roll off and they last forever and they are really strong scented. So do keep that in mind if you do order from them. Um, but. I don't really know how to, to describe this to you, but to me, this just smells like a perfume. Maybe like, I don't know, maybe patchouli? I'm not really sure. Um, it doesn't say, like all the scent description says is, this smells exactly like fresh fall of leaves. Um, I don't know. I'll, we'll, we'll see how I feel about that one. Um, Okay, the next one I have is Amaretto Nog, and this is another one that I was intrigued by but wasn't sure if I was going to like it or not, and this is another one that I'm not, like I'm on the fence about. Um, it's supposed to smell like almond and vanilla eggnog, that's what the scent notes are. To me, I don't know what eggnog is supposed to smell like, so to me it has a creamy note to it, it definitely does. Possibly that might be almond in there. Um, I'm not too like too sure what else that scent is, but I'm gonna I'm gonna burn it and see how I feel about this one. Um, it's not bad. It's definitely not bad. Um, it's just not maybe what I thought it would be. I mean, I don't know what eggnog smells like, so I don't know what it's supposed to smell like. But I kind of expected like a creamy, milky, like sweetness. That's what I kind of expected, but it's not exactly like that, so yeah. Um, the next one I have here, and I accidentally ripped the label, is Apple and Maple Bourbon. It just looks like this. Now this one here, I actually um, was really, really intrigued by this because I'm kind of on an apple kick lately. I really love like my apple cinnamons and like just apple scents in general. And this one seemed interesting to me because I was like apple and maple bourbon. Like that seems like an interesting combination and it totally is. And April, if you are watching this, I recommend you try the apple and maple bourbon. Um, I think you will love it. I really do. Now, this smells exactly like what it says. So straight off the bat, you get apples, like really juicy, sweet apples, and that's what you smell. Then you smell the maple syrup, and then you do get a hint of something else underneath, which I'm not sure exactly how to describe that scent, but I'm assuming that's supposed to be the bourbon scent to it, but... Oh, it smells amazing. I am in love with this scent and I definitely, definitely, definitely can't wait to um, give this one a try. 
Okay, so the next one I have here is By the Fire. And this one was one of the ones I really did have high hopes for. And please do excuse my nails, they're ready for moving. <laughs> Um, but this one is one I had high hopes for and unfortunately I do not like it. I, I just can't. Um, this one, I thought, I mean I, I, I did read the scent description, but you know when you, like you've, like you've read the scent description but you still have like a, an idea in your mind of what you think it's going to smell like? It smells completely different than what I thought it would. Not that that's a bad thing, it just is it's not for me. Um, for you it might be your favourite scent, I don't know. Um, but for me, no. Um, to me it smells like incense, and there's nothing wrong with incense, I just can't handle incense, they're too strong for me. Um, my allergies go all crazy, like even smelling this right now for me, um, I can feel it in my sinuses up here, this is just... It's very like perfumey and strong and this has got like sandalwood and patchouli in it and normally I'm totally fine with those scents but this is quite strong so I can't do it. Um, so I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with this one but we'll see. Um, that one I will, will read the scent description for you. It does say sandalwood, patchouli, cinnamon, clove, jasmine and thyme. And I just kind of expected it to smell like a wood fireplace. That's what I thought it would smell like. It doesn't, unfortunately, which is disappointing. And there's nothing against Sugar Creek scents. It's just I can't handle it. Um, okay, the next one I have is Buttermilk Pancakes. Amazing. Oh my god, I love this. It smells so divine. So, uh, straight away you get like a bakery note to this. You get like a melted butter, you get maple syrup, you just get that warm sugary sweetness that smells amazing. Now the scent notes for this one are hot cake butter, melted butter and drizzled with maple syrup and it smells exactly like that, it really does and I'm excited to try this one. The next one I have is Hollyberry. This was another one that I wasn't sure what it was going to smell like um, because, you know, I don't know. This is another one of those ones that I'm not, mm, it, it's a strong one so my nose doesn't really like it too much, but it smells like kind of like pine, but not quite pine, and then it has like an other scent to it. Now I don't know how to describe this one. It just it kind of smells like pine. Now the scent description says exactly that, that it smells like pine, but it's not pine. Um, so what it actually like the actual scent description for this is is um is um smells like pine but not pine and has a hollyberry bow in it. I don't even know what that is. I have no idea guys. But to me, this is going to be another one that I can't, I can't do. Unfortunately, I just can't. So I may have to give these to somebody else, the ones that I can't handle. Um, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah. The next one I have is cinnamon buns, which is this one. Now, I've never had a cinnamon bun before, but I kind of expected it to be like a bakery scent and like super sweet. It's not like that, but it's not a bad thing though. It smells amazing. It's just not what I thought it would smell like. Um, so this smells ugh, like cinnamon sugar. It smells amazing and I love it. it just smells like pure cinnamon sugar. Good. Now, I do have another one. Yeah, cinnamon donuts. Now, I'm gonna say now straight off the bat, the cinnamon, sh um, sh so cinnamon buns and cinnamon donuts are almost identical in scent. There, there is a slight difference. So I'm gonna tell you that if you are going to be like putting an order in and you want one of these, I don't think you need both of them. They smell almost identical. I just pick one or the other, really. So the cinnamon buns. Smells amazing, smells like pure cinnamon sugar. 
Next one, I will might as well go cinnamon donuts. So that's the cinnamon donuts. And again, this does smell like cinnamon sugar as well. It doesn't smell like a cinnamon donut, but it does smell like cinnamon sugar. Um, the difference between the two is I think the cinnamon bun is a little bit sweeter scented. And this one's a little bit spicier. But it smells delicious all the same. So I'm definitely excited for that one. Then I have sugar cookie and this is another one that I was really interested in like trying it's not what I thought it would smell like though um, it, I thought it would be like super sweet and vanilla -y. it doesn't smell like that it smells like well I don't even know what a sugar cookie smells like I've never had one but it smells like cookies and then like fresh baked cookies like that bakery sort of cookie smell and then a hint of sweetness. So it does smell, it smells really good. It smells really, really good. So I am excited for that one. It just doesn't smell exactly as sweet as I thought it would be. It's more biscuit based than a cookie. I mean, than sweet. So I really like that one. And the next one I have is Cinnaberry. This is another one that I was interested in trying, but when I got it, I'm not 100% certain if I like it or not. So, this, <coughs> excuse me, um, it's, it's strong. It is strong. So this is another one that I just, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to do this or not. So it's supposed to smell like cinnamon stick and Bayberry. I don't know what Bayberry smells like. I know what cinnamon stick smells like and um I do get a hint of cinnamon but I'm guessing that's the Bayberry that I can smell which is the strongest note and it is really oh, it's like I can seriously feel my sinuses just be like what are you doing to me? So <laughs> I don't think this is gonna be one that I can handle unfortunately. Um but that's fine I'll I'll just I'll find somebody who can uh, the next one I have is Bear Claws, and this one was another one that I'm super excited to try. I have seen other YouTubers that live in America um, saying a lot of good things about this particular scent, and I wanted to try it. They don't have Bear Claws here in Australia, so I've never had a Bear Claw. Um, but this smells amazing. It smells buttery, sweet like bakery like cake or something it smells delicious so the bear claw is warm pastry sugar almonds vanilla and sultanas and you definitely get that i think the warm pastry is probably the strongest note then probably the almonds and vanilla is what i'm smelling next but it smells super amazing i definitely recommend that one the next one I have here is zucchini bread and this was another one that I've seen a lot of American YouTubers speak really highly of. I've never had zucchini bread, I've never been game enough to try zucchini bread because I don't like zucchinis. But this smells so good. I had no idea though what to expect with this one. I didn't know what it would smell like. I was like, is this gonna smell good? Like zucchini bread? I don't know. But it smells really, really good and I love it. So straight off the bat you get fresh break um fresh baked bread. That's exactly what it smells like straight away. And then you kind of get like a little bit of a sweetness. And then like I think it's nutmeg that I smell. It's kind of hard to tell, but it smells really, really well. Um, the scent description is zucchini bread smothered in sugary cinnamon and nutmeg. It smells so good. Um, April, I think you'll like this one. It is a really, really nice um, scent, that one. So the next one I have is another one that I was super excited for and unfortunately I cannot do. It is Winter Nights. I thought I'd love it based on the scent description, but I just can't do it. I'm so sad. It's 
very strong and perfumey, like really perfumey. So this is going to be, I don't know, um, to me it smells like incense again, it does, and that's kind of all I'm getting. But the scent description for this is warm woody notes, vanilla bean, I think it's awesome. Mantis, I think that's how you pronounce it, geranium, bergamot, and clean ozone. And I can get the woody notes, but it's just very incense type smelling, and I can't, my nose right now is already hating me for it. Like, I can already feel my nose just be like, what? So, no, unfortunately, I can't do it, which is sad because I'm really excited for that one. The next one I have is graham crackers, and I am so excited for this. We don't have graham crackers in Australia. I was so excited to, to get this. It smells amazing. April, you will love this. So straight away, uh, it smells like sugary goodness. It smells like a sugary biscuit. Like sugar and cinnamon and like that biscuit base that's what this smells like and the scent description for that one is american cinnamon and sugar coated biscuits and that's exactly what it smells like it smells so good definitely excited to give that one a whirl the next one i have is toasted marshmallow and April, you said that I would like this one and you're totally right. I love it. It smells amazing. I've never had a toasted marshmallow either. I know I sound so sad. I'm like, I've never had this. I've never had that. But these types of things are just not things in Australia. <laughs> and so this smells like gooey, creamy, sweet goodness. Ugh, it smells exactly like that. Just like creamy, sweet goodness that's exactly what it smells like i don't know how else to describe it the scent description for this is exactly toasted marshmallows over a campfire and if this is what the real toasted marshmallows smell like i am down for that that's all i'm saying the next one i have is another one that i was super excited to try i have heard lots of good things from an other american YouTubers because these scents I'm going to presume are American scents because I've never seen them anywhere in Australia. Um, so this is Butter Brickle and I'm going to tell you now if you don't like super sweet scents you won't like this one. It is really sweet. I love sweet scents. So I don't know what Butter Brickle is but straight away I get maple syrup melted butter, like sugar overload, I don't even know how else to describe this, it is amazing. Um, this one is described as a buttery slice with vanilla almond and almond and it does, it smells like that, it smells amazing. Definitely can't wait to try that one. Um, another one I have here which I am so excited for is Caramel Apple, it smells amazing, this smells so good, oh, it smells like juicy crisp apples and then you get the sweetness of the caramel afterwards, it smells so good, the combination of the two are really really nice and I just really love that apple scent that they have in it because it's like real apples like it really does smell like apples and i really can't wait for that one the next one i have here i can't pronounce properly it's warm i think prairie tobacco i could be wrong this is another one that i had high hopes for and i kind of expected it to smell differently to what it does because in the scent description for this one it says, if I can find it, um, it says rich, spicy, woody with antique leather, vanilla and musk. And I thought that it would smell kind of manly with like that leather smell. And it does kind of smell manly and woody, but I don't get any leather or anything like that. So it's not bad, it's just not what I thought it would be. Um, kind of, I 
get a woody smell and like a warm woody smell. That's kind of all I get with that one. I'm not sure. Like, well, I'm holding out judgment on this one. We'll see how I feel about this later when I burn it. But that's that one. And then the last one I have is one that I was really excited for. Unfortunately, it's not what I thought it would be. Um, and that is Bite Me. Now, Bite Me, going by the scent description, I thought it was going to smell like really fruity because it does have lots of fruits in it. But that's not what it smells like. So I'll read you the scent description first. It's supposed to smell like fresh lime, orange, berries, cherries, and vanilla. So I thought that it smelled like really, you know, nice. This, however, I'm on the fence about. It smells straight up soda pop. Like it smells, and I don't even know how to describe this to you so you'll understand. But you know when you have a drink of soda pop or anything fizzy and you can smell the fizziness? I know that sounds weird, but that's what this smells like. It smells like fizzy. And I don't know, I can't really smell anything else. It's just fizzy. Straight up fizzy to me. So I don't know about this one. I'm gonna give it a go though, because I'm intrigued by it, but it's not what I thought it would smell like. So anyway guys, that is it. That's everything that I got from Sugar Creek Sense. Um I will link her eBay um, store down below. Now her brand is Sugar Creek Scents but her eBay username is Sugar Wax. Um, so I'll link all the information down below for you guys so if you are interested you can definitely check her out. She has amazing deals on there and some really really good um, scents on there as well. Um, but yeah so anyway if you have any questions um, just write them below and please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye!